Well, it tried to rain. Or I guess it is trying. I can still feel it spitting. Boy, I hope it does. Good morning, guys. I have an appointment in town this morning. So I am headed there first. And because we had so many power bumps yesterday where the pump got shut off, I didn't get it started till almost noon. And then it was like six when we turned it back on again. Um, and I don't know how long it had been off after that. So I'm not gonna move it until tonight, which is gonna make it a late night, but it is only one line. And hopefully it will move smoothly. So it won't be like this big production like yesterday was. So, um, yeah, I'll see you when I see ya. Good afternoon. Let's just say it was a long day in town. Uh, my husband's phone has quit working. We can barely get it to charge. So we spent most, I spent most of the day trying to find him a new phone. And we've come to the conclusion, I'm gonna get a new phone He's gonna get my phone but now I gotta find a new phone so did the little literally nothing today it was a was it was one of those days but I'm out here I'm gonna move water right now wind is blowing like crazy and that rain I was really hoping we were gonna get now no rain it it spit but that's about it so I don't know we are still in a drought and not going to get any rain anytime soon. So I had to look up to see what our rainfall was for this summer. It's less than an inch. I watch people in like North Carolina and South Carolina and their rainfall is just absolutely insane. I mean, it's, you know, two inches in the last five hours and I'm like I would love to get two inches in the last five months <laughs> but we I think I want to say we only average like 10 or 11 inches per year of rain um, so yeah it's it's not a lot if we don't irrigate I moved out here to Idaho from Wisconsin and I don't really remember ever irrigating anything, um, even watering lawns. We didn't really do it. it. We had rain, we had dew. It just didn't really happen. So moving out here was kind of a culture shock because we do have to irrigate. If we don't, we don't grow grass. So we're kind of, I was really hoping that at least a day of rain that would make a huge difference on our pastures but uh no such luck so all right this is just about drained so i'm gonna go head down to the motor and see if i can get her moved and then when my husband gets home oh yeah when i got home today uh my neighbor called as she was driving by and said I had a lamb on the highway. So we will be moving the sheep from the front pasture because I have one of the 20 head in that pasture. I have one. I don't know where she's getting out at. I don't know if she's jumping somewhere. I don't know if she's going under. I, I have no idea. I have walked that pasture. I have checked the fences. I can't figure out where she's getting out. But she is the one that's out almost every day. Doesn't matter how much I feed them, she's out. So we just decided we're going to group the older ones um, we'll just put out here and then the younger ones they'll go into the pen with those other lambs um, that we're still feeding at the barn so it's a bummer because I like having them up in that pasture but I'm not willing to risk having them on the highway just because she's dumb so they will get moved and as soon as he gets home from work and I finish this we'll go ahead and move them and then get everybody fed for the night no rain again today, but we've been watching. There's been storms going across the mountains up there, and uh, 
we keep hoping, but so far nothing. So it is what it is, I guess. So I didn't see a single sheep in the slough. So I wanted to come up here and make sure my fence was still holding and it's exactly where I left it. So they didn't come out this way. And I don't see anybody in the hay fields. So, they gotta have a hole somewhere out on the east end. Just don't know where. Well, that went fairly smoothly. We got them in here, caged, caught, whatever. But oh my gosh, look at the difference. So these are December and these are March. Oh. <laughs> Get my workout thing for the day. Jump boots. Oh. Quick cut. I'm on injured reserve. Oh, what? Nothing. I have noticed that you have bypassed that one big white one every time. Oh my time. gosh. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get her picked up. Like you're saving her for the last. I just know she's huge. She's a good one. Money you're saving on a gym, on a gym membership. membership. Uh oh, going for the big one. This is this is the test. And my endurance or hers? Yep. Oh. Come on. Stop, you two. She's definitely my problem child. She's the one that's been She's out She's the one day. causing this whole thing. Two left. Yep. Probably could call that done. Yeah, I'm like Don't want to make it look like you're struggling. That struggling. Much. Appreciate it. Yeah, and it's bad for ratings. I'm way too out of shape for that, man. But the big ones are in. Now we just have the little ones. We'll load them in the back. They'll go to the barn, and then the big ones are going out to pasture. That's what we've got left. 
they'll be a lot easier to manage. Boy, those girls were heftier than I, I thought they were going to be. Come here, girls. Some of your babies. Hello, babies. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Dudley, you're not helping. Come on, girls. Come on. Okay, Dudley, really, you're not helping. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Some of them are bigger than my full grown ewes. That is good. Yeah, some of them are bigger than my ewes that were born last year. Now they're all coming out. You're wet and you're icky. Not one of the new ones, one of the ones that are out there. Oh. Yep, we got to get everything run and put the correct tags in them. Or we're going to get too many red taggers that we don't know what year they are. It was a nice gesture. Ooh, that's like 110 degrees. Oh shit, we could cook potatoes in there. <laughs> yes, you could. Ooh, that is toasty, toasty warm. Yeah, like I said, it was a nice gesture. It was, we appreciate but, it. We just can't feed it up fast enough, no. not to these little ones. No. In hindsight, we probably should have just dumped them out back for the flock and let them gnaw on it. But I was afraid as green green as it was, it bloated some of them. Nope, there is nothing left. Nothing? Burned the whole thing up? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, the outside two inches that got air, Yep. it ended up curing. Yep. But everything Oop. else is hot, hot and molded. Whew, that is toasty. So why don't you tell them what you did? camp trailer clean one owner one owner at a time <laughs> it's got a few issues the uh or does it well the lid doesn't shut that could be the only issue for all we know i know but we don't know how to fix it well no because it has we, something to do with that cable i think you were pulling on well i wondered that but I don't know that for a fact because that looks pretty small to be the cable that lifts it. Well, but, maybe. But it. We went to YouTube University. YouTube University hasn't showed us this version. Showed us a lot of versions, even that brand, but not. But we this don't. version of yeah, chain we, and cable and cable and chain. We don't know the make and model of this to get very specific on YouTube, so. So, and all the other ones, the gears that pull the cable all sit underneath, and then this one, they sit inside here. So, we're gonna have to tunnel in, I'm afraid, to get into here, into this door. Okay. And what was the reason behind buying this? Because I slept in the freaking car when we went camping <laughs> and 
I had to sleep with my legs pointed that way in my head here. She had to sleep with her legs pointed that way in here because we couldn't fit in the car. The car was about two feet too short or six inches. All right. Ne like neither two. one of us is that tall as much as we'd like to it, pretend we are. It was pretty short. It was. So he decided that we would get a little camper and a friend of ours had one that it broke. So she was selling it cheap. Worst case scenario, we have a new flatbed. There you after go. we flatbed trailer after we scrap all this but I think it's savable we just have to figure out how yes so in the meantime it's just another project on the list yes so stay tuned for this thing and we'll we'll take you through it as we go through it ourselves along with the chicken coop and the swather and several other projects on the list. Yeah, we're really good at starting stuff. We're not so great at finishing it. How are my guard geese? Not very guardy. Not sure how well you can see, but one adult, two adult, and that one is baby. So they only had one this year. Well, we are slowly gaining. Um, these still, we have to like lift the whole trailer and then put boards in because those aren't holding. And then we did finally figure out how these worked to get those stationary. And now we're just trying to figure out how to get this to where it's lifted like this side. Without this whole thing crashing on him. There you go. Okay. okay, and those so, hold those up. If it was, okay, so now the next step. Dinner? Tonight you mean? Yeah, yeah I'm, not I'm freaking that. hungry. And then, eventually this thing like. Oh, that's the door. Okay. Half a door. Because this part's already here. But I don't really want it down yet. No, I agree. Oh, because the screen on it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I got it. Oh, it double hinges. Okay, that makes sense. Do you need me to be on the other side for a light? Not necessarily. There. Okay. 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 Yeah, I wondered about that when I let go. Okay. 